with the hey everybody it's mother's day so happy mother's day i just want to let you know what i just did was i just texted my mom to say can i text you in an hour which is 10 p.m our time to tell you happy mother's day because i forgot to do it to, uh, before now and she's like why can't you do it now i was like i'm a grown-ass man in a basement having to do a facebook live right just like you always dream for me nick how are you I'm doing well, Mike. Happy Mother's Day to you and to Nicole. Uh, she'll be celebrating, I'm sure, next next month, but uh, happy Mother's Day to you. I'm starting to think Mother's Day is a little bit of a sham for the dad because the kids woke up and they were like, should we make pancakes or waffles? Or And my wife doesn't like sweets in the morning, and I was like, we should get kolaches uh, because kolaches are great. Uh, Andy Cabasso is here. Which I don't think I've ever seen Andy here. Uh, he says there are two of them. That's right, people. You're watching Ask Twinsies with Nick and Mike. The premise of the show is pretty simple. You guys ask us questions, some serious, some not. We give terrible life advice. That's it. That's the show. So, Nick, uh, we're going to get started. Last Let's do week, it. Uh, our I'm friend excited. Megan Xavier asked a couple of questions. So I'm just going to I'm just going to run through the questions. Um, is it true that belly fat is caused by carbs? Why do five-year-olds have no volume control? Why can some people operate on no sleep and others need eight plus hours? Why are students way more adept than their teachers at using Zoom? Why are some people better at others than at than others at puzzles? Will Jack wait for it, ever stop his shrill stress bark? How can we keep Monk from playing with, i.e. eating chipmunks? Why is Ivy actually thinking? What is Ivy actually thinking when she stares at Jack? Why does it hurt so ridiculously bad when you get hit in the nose? What's wrong with serving a margarita in a martini glass? Mm. Do you have wow. any thoughts on any of those questions? I've got thoughts on all those questions. The first of which would be that Megan needs to bring the coffee use down you gotta chill, Megan. significantly and up the Xanax or potentially even marijuana use, it seems mm. like. Just to uh, ease up, but the dog uh, in the chipmunks, that's the one I have the answer to. You have to scare off all the chipmunks uh, or else the dog's going to continue to consume them. So uh, I recommend getting a cat as well that the dogs can play with. Uh, that's all. I, that's my answer for her. That it, It's that simple. Megan, you really need to bring it down a notch or two. And I will say I can confirm that a certain number of carbs – can certainly cause belly fat. Mm, I can probably confirm that as well. That's my help for today. So Jason sent us an important question that really got me thinking. Mm -hmm. Ask Twinsies, how do I play the last half of the right hand of this bar with the indicated legato phrasing? He, he adds, I have normal sized hands. Smaller Maybe. hands, Jason. You got to get smaller hands. He accompanied uh, this question with this image. Yeah, nobody knows what that means. It's total cryptography. The only person who can play that bar, Mr. Morris, is one Donald J. Trump. All right, next question. Jim asks one that I think got us both thinking. Uh, if the two of us, Nick and I, wrestled in the mud, who would win? Nick? The spectators, Mike. I really feel like the public wins in that, personally. Yeah, yeah. How do you not, how do they not benefit from that? Yeah, and, and I, uh, Dave actually responded uh, with this point, I cannot unthink this. That's exactly what I'm talking about. That kind yeah. of quality just sticks with you. you know? So I think we just need to take that up a level and make it so that he can't unsee it as well. I wonder if... You and I could separately, while we're, you know, in our own little bunkers, wrestle in the mud and then somehow Photoshop it together and maybe just bounce it back and forth between the screen. What is the self-mud lathering wrestle? Is that even legal? I mean, in California, maybe. Yeah, no, California, we we, uh, we are good with everything except uh, jobs and businesses. So mm -hmm. other than that, everything's uh, legal. So I'll go turn on the... Uh, turn on the uh, hose after this and probably get some mud going and then I'll take a few shots of myself for you and I'll send them your way. Turn on the mud machine, as it were. As it were. Carol asked the question, why do lawyers, uh, why are you so surprised when I tell them that I have a Tinder profile? She's looking for her own Harvey Specter. Yeah, 
uh, who's surprised at this this day and age? Like uh, the online dating thing is pretty common. I that feel that it's weird. Was one of them? Didn't one of them become like just basically about sex, and another one became just about gay sex? And there was no like, there's no illusion that hey, I'm trying to find my spouse right now. Yeah, I I I think there's there was some truth to that, but I I think that's at a different generation than probably some of us, where it's like okay, you, you're doing it because you're looking for something better. I think depending on age, there is no illusion of of what it's for. Hmm. Yeah, we used to just call that college. Uh, Lori asked the question. Correct. How does one look lawyerly on Zoom? Uh, Nick, pants optional? Yeah, looking lawyerly on Zoom, uh, if you're watching this show, you're getting it. It's coming right at you. So there you go. This should be your goal. Yeah, and I I would point out to prove how professional we are, I'm now going to go on my phone. I've got this very cool thing, Nick, where I can go prioritize my device because we have Google Wi-Fi at our house, I can go on this device, I can actually turn off all my kids' internets, and it makes the most beautiful chorus of kids whining. So I expect that anytime now. Thanks for the question, Lori. Uh, Warren sends an important question. He asks, snow? In moderation is is the only response to this question, Mike. Uh, a little bit of snow can do a lot of good, but uh, shoveling not for everyone. Is it what month are we in? Are we in May? It's May. Okay. Yeah. That is really weird to have snow in May, but I would point out 2020. Yeah, well, that's fair. That is fair. Are you guys uh, in a location that gets snow cuz I am not? We are. It was 37 degrees last night. I had to worry about my herbs that were on my front porch. We waited and waited and waited to get herbs to grow on a front porch. And then, you know, 2020 did this. I'm hoping that one day 2020 becomes shorthand, like we say foobar, you know what I mean? Mm. Where, where somebody could be like, God, this totally sucks. This just feels so 2020, you know? Yeah, I think that's happening in large part over on the gram. That's Instagram for those of you who aren't uh, familiar with that. A lot of memes about how bad 2020 is. Only outnumbered by the number of memes for how bad 2019 was and then 2018, 2017. So it's kind of a common, I'm not sure 2020 is going to have that be that distinctive. Sensing a trend here. Yeah, but 2020 just rolls off the tongue. Uh, Kat asked the question, speaking of inappropriate, inappropriate timing. Mm. Should my husband go out into the night yep. with a chainsaw to cut up the big ass trees, three of them, that fell across our driveway in the storm just now, or should he wait until it's light tomorrow? Also, tomorrow is his birthday. Nick? This is a difficult one, Mike, because there's a lot of fun to be had with the chainsaw in the dark. It's more dangerous. Uh, you can scare neighbors, potentially, if there are neighbors uh, on her compound. I'm going to call it a compound because that's how I see cat living. Yeah. Uh, even even almost a commune, uh, I'm going to say that as well, uh, because I want her to see this and then attack me Not on everyone in Tennessee lives in a commune. Just, mm, I don't know about that. Uh, yeah, so you can have a lot of fun. You can scare neighbors or children with the chainsaw at night. It's more dangerous, so it really ups the adrenaline level. And why do it on your birthday? You know, take the day off. Enjoy it. It's important that you wear proper protective covering when going outside with a chainsaw at night. I would suggest a mask of some type, some type something in white. Mm, might be definitely the best Make, possible option. Yeah, yeah, definitely ups the fear factor as well. So Colin asks, how do you deal with BS? Great question from Colin here, Mike. Uh, in my case, I accept it into my life from 7 to 7.30 every Sunday night. Oh, Pacific time. Pacific time. I thought he was referring to my useless bachelor's degree, but then I realized I have a BA, and mm. my solution for that was to get more student loans and go I, to law school. 
I had to confirm with uh, Colin that he wasn't talking about bold sandwich choices in this one. Uh, no, so I how I sandwich agreed, and uh, so I have to say that uh, you deal with it by laughing at it is usually how I deal with BS by sarcasm and snark and uh making fun of it i think it's a little funny for a lawyer of all people to be like oh bs like it's what we do professionally yeah that's it to do this that's it you know accept it it's who you are aaron asks the question how do you offer promos during covid19 without looking like a salesy a-hole nick how do you restrain the a-hole yeah so this is actually – are we going to go for a legitimate answer on this one? I don't know. I never know where it leads. What, you know, I think Erin probably wants a really serious answer because she's a very serious person who takes us seriously. Oh, she person. does take us so seriously. She respects us a great deal. Um, this is a tough one, and it seems that more people are coming across with the salesy a-hole approach than are not. So – I wouldn't mention COVID-19 and I would just do a standard marketing, you know, standard, standard marketing campaign. Just pretend it so, doesn't exist. I would, I would like business as usual is going on. And that, uh, by the way, we're having this spring discount or spring uh, campaign and I would ignore it uh, because I think pointing it out makes it look like you're trying to take advantage of it. I think it's important, as Seth Godin said, not to think about demographics, but psychographics. Try to connect with people where they are mentally. In this case, what that means is look up whether somebody leans left or leans right, because based on their political affiliation, they might think this thing is totally fake and it's the perfect time to go to TJ Maxx. So look out for those political affiliations because they really help. In a surprise question that's not much of a surprise to us, Helen Bukulmez jumps in and asks, what are your best suggestions on hairstyling during coronavirus? Nick? Ah, uh, that's it. Are we for, is this our fourth week or third week? This but is we're, the eternal question from Nick and It Mike. is. They want to know how what our hair care uh, protocols are. Mm. Uh, s repeat the question for me one time, Mike. Best suggestions on hairstyling during COVID-19. Hmm. And and another question from one of our female viewers, uh, which is, yeah, look at there you go, and you get a little bit of a, a little bit of a Danny DeVito going there. I've opted for shaving the head in. Uh... <laughs> you can really, really bring out the crazy. Can't it's going you? long. I in the back, like I got party in the back going on because seriously, you, it's starting to curl you, up back there can you put a can you put a rubber band in there and get like a, a the bow. beginnings of a ponytail and put a bow in there like a big pollyanna thing going on that's what i would yeah. say to do helen dye it blue and then put one of those big pollyanna bows on there yeah that's uh, really good. but continue using conditioner i think uh, helen that's the best i can do for you here i think it's really important that you exfoliate which is a word i don't actually know what it means so mm. But do that all the same. Continue it if you have uh, – start it if you haven't. Continue uh, if you are. Now, clearly you and I are slightly less expert on this question. Mm. Jessica asks – Never held us back before. Brownie edge or center brownie? Center brownie. I don't want that. I'm not big on the crisp on the edge. Mm. Okay. I like a chewiness, but like a bite chewiness, not like a mush. I don't like the mush. I, the center part, like my kids will make brownies, and I'll be like, you better not bring that to me for 30 minutes because I want to continue to cook to mush, and I, I just I nom on the edges, and they're like a chewy, sugary edge, right? That's Yeah, yeah it's, it's surprising in your advanced age that – that you're not more concerned about the softer, uh, the softer inside that is more mushy that so it doesn't injure your teeth or your uh, dentures fall out. This is a story I want to tell you. We had some brownies uh, and we ate all the brownies out and there's just that last little bit. And somebody had put the brownie pan back into the oven, this glass pan, put it back into the oven while the oven was still a little warm, and then it was left there for hours, right? So by now, it's just brittle, broken mm, down, you know, awful, super hard. Gross. So Ellie 
goes in there. My she 16? My 16-year-old goes in there, and she wanted to scrape some of the little brownie brittle crunchies off the bottom. And so she grabs a little knife, a paring knife, and she starts dragging it towards her, stabbing at the brownies, and it slips, and she stabbed right through her hand. She got in a fight with brownies, and the brownies won. This is – this feels like a Whalen family condition my uh, kids, almost, my kids fighting with the brownies. Really the brightest. Uh, yeah. Uh, my kids are. Learned uh, by observation. Barry asks a real question. He keeps doing this. Uh, mm. He said, I was in a Zoom meeting for a local bar committee. A judge was a special guest. She predicted her upcoming stint in virtual conferences would go badly, proudly exclaiming how clueless she is on all things tech. All right, so that's the groundwork. Here's a judge. Ha ha, I don't know where the buttons are. It's 2020. The question is, protocol, should I have suggested su- suggested that she learn? Should Gary yes. have said, judge, you might want to work on that? I... I feel like we should be suggesting this for everybody, but I guess if you're going to have a case come up in front of this judge, you have to think about how you're going to, you know, how you're going to say it diplomatically. But yeah, we got to all learn here. Uh, It is 2020, as Michael had said earlier. So the fact that we're stupid about all things technology at this point is just aggravating. I think you might be losing a huge strategic advantage, though, if you do that, because if that judge is so confused about technology, you might be able to do some basic things and the judge think you're a wizard. And what kind of judge is going to find against a wizard when you think mm, about that? Fair point. You know, fair point. you gotta, you got to use your advantages where they come. Cabasso jumps in with a question. If you were to go all in on a philosophy to live by right now, would it be nihilism or as Calvin and Hobbes pronounces it, nihilism. I don't actually know because it's all text. Why or why not, uh, Nick? Yeah, uh, I have to go Google nihilism. I think I've got the rough, uh, b- rough understanding of it. I, I'm, I'm never one to be nihilistic or or ni- nihilistic. How would you? How would the other one say? How, how would you say it? That's yeah. how ignorant people say it. Yeah. Okay. My apologies. Uh, It's not for me. I'm generally optimistic with a good set of uh, snark and sarcasm and pessimism in there when necessary. I like to live by, I feel the need, the need for speed. That was me doing the clap up. Yeah, yeah, no, we got it. And then behind, right? You got to loop it around. You know what I'm saying? So exhausting. Loop it around. Great question, Andy. Thanks for participating. Uh, Amy asks maybe a relevant question. No. What do you do when you think the entire legal system is a broken farce and most lawyers are jerks? Nick? Start talking about it and get louder and beg for changes. And then write your congressman. We need legislative changes more than anything. On the jerk side, I'm doing okay. Mike, he's... He's one of the jerks. Just 12 minutes ago. Just 12 minutes ago. I feel really broken right now. Thanks, Amy. It's dark. Uh, Jeff asks a question, and some of the people in this group might not know who Jordan Furlong is. But he points out that Jordan Furlong two years ago made a post inviting his readers to think about their law firm failing in the future, i.e. now, which included a reference to a pandemic. Twelve monkeys, I don't know. Is Jordan prescient or a mundane time traveler? Nick, uh, what do you know about Jordan Furlong? I, I just uh, know I know very little about Jordan Furlong other than that he is a, a serious intellectual, whereas I am not. So... <laughs> Uh, he's probably prescient on this one. I'm going to say he's prescient. Uh, I didn't think Jordan was a real person for a long, long time. A, because he's Canadian. What the hell? And B, because he just knows stuff all the time. But I did hang out with him in Chicago. uh, So now I know that he is an actual person, real and alive. Uh, Helen Buchelmez. 
jumps in again to say ethics question. Outstanding. During a video conference with justices, if one of the less techie judges in the recess is flushing, what, if any, duties (laughs) do the attorneys have? Complete hypothetical, not based on real life experiences at all. This happened in it, in a Supreme Court argument the other day. That's by the way, that's my understanding. Yeah. That is my understanding. What do the rest of the people on the video do when they hear a flush in the background? I'd keep doing whatever I was doing to begin with, uh, and try not to laugh, even if I was at the Supreme Court. But uh, that's otherwise, nonsense. I would laugh like an idiot child. Mm. Which is why. I'm not allowed at the Supreme Court. Yeah, no, I think that, I mean, why wouldn't you just keep doing what you're already there to do? Obviously, this is going to happen. At least they didn't come on onto the Zoom call naked, because that will happen as well sometime. So Cabasso asked a complicated question. Cabasso's back. Cabasso's back. He wants to know, he said, Waylon is apparently familiar with Italian cooking. Can you explain how to make a good Sunday gravy? Cabasso, this is quite complicated. What I would encourage you to do is go look up recipes in Italian. Look up a ragu, like ricetta, which is R-I-C-E-T-T-A, ragu, and then whatever area you want. And then do watch it in Italian and do whatever they say to do. Because that's an authentic recipe, and because you would totally misunderstand it and make something with bananas, and that's funny. Mm, that is funny. That would be funny. Cabasso is a great last name, I might add. It really just rolls off the tongue. It disturbs me a little bit that he doesn't know how to, you know, with a O on the end of his name. I would think he knows how to do all. He, some of this has got to come Western natural, right? European. Dishes, but I think his people are Spain. I think he told me that once that his people were Spain. Uh, mm. We have one last uh, point to Did make we're... before we Excellent. move over to a final Happy Mother's Day wish. Uh, you guys do have time to get in another question or two if you'd like, but I do want to just point something out. I showed this to Nick this last week in Ask Twinsies lore. So apparently, there's lore already. Marisa uh, went looking for me on Twitter. And found this person instead. His name is at Michael Whalen. Look at that guy. He's got the beard and the bald head. And in another picture, he had glasses on that looked just like these that we have on. That's like my actual twinsy. Yeah, yeah. It's it's frightening. It's frightening. But Whalen isn't that unique of a name. He is looks it? more like you, if we're being honest. He's got like more of a. Middle Eastern vibe than I do. Um, but no, Wayland's not a totally rare name. It was like the 47th most common on the island of Ireland, which is an island. Yeah. Like and why Wayland instead of Whelan, which is obviously Whelan? It was originally a Whelan, which has both an A and an E in it. Mm. And apparently on the island, people just picked. So, Nick, uh, that's it for today. We've got no more that's questions. It. Yeah, we didn't uh, We didn't have any more questions. And apparently so we were not as um, intolerable gas bags today as we normally why? are. And therefore, it took 23 minutes instead of 30 minutes. Anything no. that you did special for Mother's Day? I, I did. Uh, and by the way, I'm surprised we didn't get any Mother's Day questions. I mean... This is, yeah, I, I cooked dinner for mom. I cooked some salmon and asparagus and made a little salad. Uh, and that's what I did. I made did my wife do? clean out the fridge. Uh, I was thinking about Kat's mm. question earlier about should my husband go chop down trees on his birthday. I'm just yeah. saying, mothers, if you do things like clean out the fridge on Mother's Day, you can make your husbands get their asses out into the woods and cut some freaking trees. I don't care if it's their birthday or not, right? Did you stop mothering on Mother's Day? I don't think so. Are you uh, capable of cutting down a tree with a chainsaw? Have you ever done? Have you ever done any chainsaw work or artistry? That stuff's like outside, right? Ah, uh, I know, dangerous. It's outside. Thank you guys for joining us on Ask Twinsies. Next week, uh, you can add questions throughout the week that you want us to answer really, really poorly. You just have using to... using the hashtag Ask Twinsies makes it real easy for us to find. Actually, use the hashtag because we're really not bright enough to go chase down threads that you wrote you actually have to use that thing i appreciate both of you who were on here 
who are not celebrating Mother's Day for whatever reason. Um, I don't want to dig into that. That sounds really private for late at night, I think. What? Wait, what? Why people aren't celebrating Mother's Day. Like, I'm down. Oh. We're down here because we're sad. Well, I'm more worried about you being sad. So and lonely. so I, I'm like just being a buddy, you know. Oh, I'll help so, Mike out because he's so sad. Lonely. Yeah. I'm so lonely. You guys call me. I'll talk to you later. Bye.